Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender and this one's gonna be an update for an add-on that I actually had a video on called Magic Curve Pro. So if you haven't seen the video, just go ahead and watch it because I will not be talking about basics in here. I'm gonna be talking about what's new, okay? So let's add a cube here and uh, in fact, you know what? Let's add a circle as well, so curve circle. So let's go here and add a circle, let's make it bigger. And let's also add a quad sphere and rename it to sphere okay let me just clear here everything reset it there you go now how this works basically either you can have a curve that you added to a scene or you can actually extract a curve from your object so i could go here to vert mode select this uh, loop here and i could extract um the curve from loop okay and i'm gonna get the curve here on top and i could add it to my uh, add-on database but I'm gonna actually use this one and uh, so I'm gonna click here store selected curve I'm gonna select these two and store objects now in previous version of this add-on you couldn't add more than one object to this selection here you couldn't store more than one in this one you can store more than one and I'll show you exactly why okay so now traditionally uh, once we store both you can click on make it and you can just now see here a new menu we can adjust the number of uh, the, the count of the array items right so let's say 12 and you're gonna see that we're gonna get this so basically cube sphere cube sphere cube sphere so it's kind of alternating right but let's make it more interesting and let's uh, add a cone here to the mix all right and we're gonna add it and we're gonna go to object editor okay now the magic is going to start, all right? Let's go to Object Editor. And you see that the cube appears once, sphere once, and cone once. So let's increase cone to three times. And OK. Let's delete this array and make a new one. And now we need to uh, simply increase the count to see the result, OK? But uh, basically what happens is that you're going to have three cones, then cube, sphere, three cones, cube, sphere, etc. OK? You have three cones, one cube and one sphere, that's five objects, so you need a count that is dividable by five. Okay, so if you're going to have, you know, 19, you're going to be missing one object, right? Makes sense? Okay, cool. Now, let's make it even more interesting. So let's go to Object Editor and let's move, let's say, cone to random, okay, and set. Now we get cone in random and we want this cone to appear... Um, more than once we want it to appear five times okay so uh, and also we're gonna add a sphere right to random and we want the sphere to appear twice okay so the chance for appearing of the cone is 71.4 percent and sphere is 29.6 now we're gonna make this and you can clearly see that uh, if i'm gonna increase the count now right you can clearly see that uh, you know cone appears uh, much more often than uh, than the sphere uh, so it's really interesting how how this plays out uh, but uh, in addition to this you can actually randomize a seed so you could randomize the seed okay in here and you could of course change the uh, the way uh, this array works okay so you could fill by count fill by offset etc okay all right so now let's uh do something else okay let's let's just delete this okay and let's delete this and let's delete this cube let's grab this sphere and shift the x make it smaller shift d shift d and shift d and i'm going to make you know some of them a little bit smaller this one i'm going to make bigger actually i'm going to make it very small select all these four select this one and control p and object keep transform so everything is parented okay so what i've done i simply parented these spheres you know to this one okay so these are children that's a parent now i'm going to clear this uh these objects here i'm going to adjust this sphere and I'm going to make it. Nothing really changes, but if I'm going to change this real instance from light to instance, right, and I'm going to enable parenting, magic happens. But now this, uh, you know, situation here is a little bit boring because, you know, they're following uh, this curve. But what I can do is I can, for example, start rotating them on, you know, whichever axis I want. And this will affect, uh, you know, uh, all the objects that have been parented as well. So you could create some really cool uh, and crazy patterns. You could scale them, you could move them, you could you could even offset them on various axes, 
randomly and on top of it you could randomize the seed so the possibilities with this are basically infinite okay let me just clear this all right and uh, let me just remove these items and i'm gonna show you something uh, something else all right so let's say we have a cube we're gonna make it smaller okay we're going to add some cavity to it because jesus christ i can't see shit. uh let's select these and bevel them let's uh, chamfer this in fact let's apply scale first and chamfer this right and let's uh sharpen this and run an edge here in the middle all right cool cool so we're going to clean this curve we're going to store this curve all right so we're going to store uh, this curve so let's uh deselect with shift and select this vert then uh, curve from loop and store curve right now we're going to add the decals so maybe i'm just gonna add the row of decals so let's just write the row of decals here and we're gonna pick one of them okay so let's say we're gonna pick this one all right so let's grab this one let's go to look dev okay and let's wait for them to update or oh, they flipped uh interesting so um let's uh let's scale this in edit mode okay so select everything and scale it and we're going to edit to um let's clear this and edit to a story to select it right so we're going to now make it and you see that we need to reset this so how to reset this we're going to simply delete the array reset all settings and one more time make it right and you can see that the decal is here on the bottom we're going to increase the count right maybe that's too many uh, maybe that that many will do jesus 249 let's say uh 20 okay cool great advantage of this add-on is that it doesn't distort your decal on a curve which means these are still perfect circles which is amazing in addition to this one okay you can now see that if i'm gonna click on this decal um i've lost uh, my modifiers which are on the mother decal okay meaning i can't really do anything with decal machine it's grayed out okay now the way to fix this so right click here and select objects and delete this right or you can simply delete the last um, last array uh, what we can do is simply change the way it's been arrayed so one more time make it and we're going to change it from instance light to real instance or real copy and now i can press d and i can project them okay so they've been projected to the mesh okay so let's say we're going to change the color double click d and reapply and you can see now that i have a perfect array of decals going around the mesh right and they're not being distorted they are still perfect circles it's incredible this uh, decal curving is probably one of the coolest things uh, for me because it was extremely difficult to do with um, even with hard ups and you know decals were being distorted and this is not the way i want to work and this add-on really allows us to curve these decals around the curve whichever way you want uh, whichever direction you want because this curve could be going you know and bend whichever direction you want and they're not going to be distorted this is fantastic okay so go ahead and uh, grab this you know support job week he's doing a fantastic job on this one he's constantly improving the add-on they're going to be new things coming up I already suggested that you know what we would love to see is for example ability of actually using mouse scroll to scroll these uh, values here and the same in here as well i also would love to see a uniform scaling so for example scaling on each axis which means my object would get scaled basically as if i was simply pressing s so i could scale uh, these uh, decals and scale them you know make some of them smaller some of them larger and uh, let me just uh, grab a different uh, different decal let me let me just grab this one okay i'm gonna scale this and i'm going to clear this and i'm going to edit and make it okay so i'm gonna um, grab this one right and i'm going to go to edit mode select everything and i'm gonna actually scale this down like this all right and instead of um you know instead of um, real instance i'm going to use usual copy and this will allow me to actually scale individual decals uh you know respectively before i commit to you know let's say uh, projecting them with decal machine because now i can select them okay so select objects and press d and project them and i'm gonna get you know individual sizes 
and the way I want. So you know, this would be cool to have with an add-on, um, but I'm guess I guess you know this this is stuff that's gonna come in the future. So anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Highly recommend the add-on. Grab it if you don't have it. Thank you for watching, and I catch you in the next one.